What is going on? This is Altone, and today I want to share with you how a drone actually works. So if you have your very first drone or you're even thinking about getting a drone and you're wondering how does this thing actually work, today you're going to learn that. So let's get right into it. There's only a couple of actual actions that a drone does. That is ascend and descend, which is go up and down, go forward and in reverse, pretty much self-explanatory, <laughs> go from side to side, left or right, and yaw or rotate on axis left or right. Every single action that your drone does based on the commands that you give it from your controller is one of those four different actions or a combination of any two, three, or even four of those actions. And as you make those actions, the flight controller inside this drone will actually tell the motors how fast they are to spin in order to get your drone to do the actions that are required. So let's take a look at the parts of the drone and kind of get an idea of what actually takes place when you tell it to move left, right, up, down, side to side, or rotate. So you already know that the drone has four propellers and those propellers actually cause thrust. If you're curious about how that actually works and you would like for me to do a video on it, make sure you drop that down in the comments. Enough people ask that question and I'll create a video on it. But essentially the way your propellers are designed, like an airplane wing, actually produce lift or thrust. And each one of these propellers actually rotate in a different direction. Two propellers that are rotating clockwise, two propellers that are rotating counterclockwise. That keeps the drone stable and balanced in the air. So let's get really, really simple and just talk about one action, and that will be up and down. If there is absolutely no wind and the drone was perfectly still, all motors are spinning at the exact same speed and you want the drone to ascend or go up in altitude, when you give that command, the flight controller essentially would send the exact same amount of power to each one of the motors, increasing the spin of all of your propellers at the exact same time, which would then cause your drone to go up. The propellers are creating enough lift to counteract the actual weight of the drone. Let's say you want your drone to go forward. What the flight controller would do is it will send more power to the rear two motors, basically tilting your drone in a forward direction, and that will cause your drone to start to move forward. If you decide you want the drone to go rear, the, the flight controller, as you send the command, will send more power to the front two motors and the drone will tilt to the rear and then it will start to move to the rear. The same thing happens when you go left. It will tilt left because these two motors are getting more power and it will start to move left. If you go on right, it will tilt right and the drone will start to move to the right. Those are the simple, simple ones. Rotating a drone is the most complicated, but it's still easy to understand. If you want the drone to rotate to the right, the two motors that are actually rotating in the counterclockwise direction will get a little bit more power and it will cause the drone to actually rotate to the right. If you want the drone to rotate to the left, the two motors that are rotating in the clockwise direction will get more power and the physics behind that will cause the drone to rotate to the left. So it's really, really simple how your drone actually works. And if you think about all four of those different examples that I just gave you and understand that when you give your drone a command that requires multiple of those movements at the same time, your flight controller does all the calculations required and gives the proper amount of power to the motors necessary in order to actually produce that action. And that's what takes place when your drone is flying in the air. If you are confused by any of what I just shared with you, please do drop down in the comments section. Let me know what your questions are. This was just a very simple explanation. It can become a whole lot more complicated and you know that the Mini 2 and many other drones have so many more functions other than just doing those actions. So if you do have questions, let me know down in the comments. I will see if I can put together another video to help answer some of those more popular questions for you. I truly thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to talking to you again in a future video.